What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, doing some Series 8 rank content for you guys. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing team to show off today. We got a highly requested Rayquaza team coming at you guys with Airlock ability and Life Orb as its item. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. The support across the channel has been phenomenal. We are coming close to 10k subscribers. That's insane. I know we're only at 7,000, but I'm, I can just picture 10k right now and I cannot wait. You guys are seriously amazing. But this team right here was sent in once again by my boy Jan. Jan sent me a lot of teams for Series 8, so we're just getting after it and showing off all these legendaries that we can. Rocking out in the front spot, we got our boy Rayquaza right here. Rayquaza is the heart and soul of this team. Dragon and Flying, like I said, it was highly requested across the channel because it is such a cool legendary. Definitely a top tier legendary in my opinion with how it looks and all that good stuff. It has airlock ability, which is going to be huge, I think, in this meta considering what airlock does. If I'm out on the field, no weather can change. The weather cannot change. Say I lead Rayquaza and he leads a Groudon, Drought will not be in effect. Same thing with Kyogre. Then the rain will not go. Or he cannot use Rain Dance or... A uh, sunny day. He can't use any of that while Rayquaza is on the field. But say Groudon comes out first and I do not have my Rayqu Rayquaza out, I cannot just swap into Rayquaza and just uh, cancel it out. That's not how it works. He has to be out on the field present in order to cancel out weather. So I figured I'd go over that a little bit just so you guys have the heads up. We got that Life Orb item on him. Dragon Call, Dragon Ascent, which is his stab flying move, which is absolutely amazing. Extreme speed for priority and protect. If you guys do not know what Dragon Ascent does, first off, it's stab flying and it lowers special defense and defense every single time it hits which is absolutely amazing. Right next to him, we got Whimsicott, which is our Tailwind setter with Prankster ability, Focus Ash, Tailwind, Moonblast, Energy Ball, Taunt. Nothing new there. Same thing with our Incineroar behind my face cam. Nothing new on him with Fake Out, Foil Blitz, Snarl, and Parting Shot. Intimidate, Wildberry. Pretty straightforward and simple. But we also got Scissor on the scene. And Scissor's absolutely amazing. I really do like him. He's very fast. He hits pretty hard, too. And I do like his typing, except for when uh, the fire comes in, then he gets absolutely dumped on. But he has Technician and the Assault Vest with Bullet Punch, Iron Head, Dual Wing Beat, and X Scissor. Bottom left corner is Tapu Fini to kind of give us a little bit more powerhouse on this team. We got Misty Surge and Citrus Berry for it with the Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleam, Muddy Water, and Protect so we can set up a Calm Mind if we need to and we can potentially roll off from there. Then in the final spot is a great support mod for this team. It's Prankster Meowstick with a Light Clay. We got Light Screen and Reflect, Psychic for Stab, and then we got Thunder Wave just to pest around and throw some Paralyzes across the field. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins with this Rayquaza Series 18. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a mono ice team right here, and it's looking pretty strong considering it has ice Calyrex on it. Hopefully, we can get after it. Catch ourselves a W in battle number one. I kind of want to lead Incineroar. Get that, present that fire presence, and we get to Intimidate. Uh, I could go Rayquaza as well, because Rayquaza is pretty decent here. Besides the ice, man, dude, the ice, like, eats us up. But I feel like Rayquaza can outspeed it and do a lot of work on a lot of these Pokemon. I feel like we need a Tailwind, so I'm going to go Whimscott. I am going to bring Rayquaza in the back because I really want to show him off. And then in the final spot, Scizor or Tapu Fini? I feel like Scizor is a lot better here. We're going to go Scizor here. Let's get after it. Like, Rayquaza, if he can outspeed, he can get after a lot of these Pokemon. He really can. Like, I get the ice is uh, super effective. This is two, it might be four times between Flying and Dragon, but yeah. I feel like you can still do work and kind of dominate these battles. Let's get after it. Try to get ourselves a win in battle number one. But yeah, like like I said in the last video, I was excited for today's video because I was hyped to show off this Rayquaza team and get after it. We're going to go Wimscott and Incineroar. And he's going to go Silk Valley and Lapras. Do I fake out the Lapras? The Lapras might die next. It might be a thing. So I might fake out the Silk Valley. Might set up a Tailwind. Or I might just drop an. I can't. That can thing could be weakness policy though. I might just drop an energy ball onto it. I just flare blitz instead. I'm actually just gonna snarl. I'm just gonna start snarling. And do I tailwind boost? Yeah, we're gonna tailwind boost. Is that thing gonna explode though? That's my problem. That is my problem. Is that thing going to explode? You might just protect and do an explosion. But I, I think you. He's thinking I might fake him out, so he might not even go into it. Let's see what he does. But I'm trying to get off the snarl, lower all these special attack, and hopefully he Dynamaxes Lapras. I'd be okay with that. If he Dynamaxes Lapras and goes after my Whimsicott, so I'll have a Tailwind off, and I'll start snarling and just keep pestering, throwing down the uh, special attack. Yep, here comes Dynamax. Oh yeah, Jeans is liking that. Jeans is liking this. 
Like I said, I have Scizor and Rayquaza. Rayquaza is an absolute beast. Oh, oh! Wait just a minute! Wait a minute! You going Silk Valley? This dude's crazy. This dude's crazy. This dude is crazy. There's my Tailwind. And here goes my Snarl. I think Silk Valley's physical attacking. Guess we'll find out. Snarl, built. Doing the work. Doing the work. Doing the Snarl Barrel work. Get a parting shot out. He is physical. We have that Intimidate on him. I'm gonna go for a Hailstorm. Over onto Wimscott. Wimscott is gonna go down to Buffett's next turn. Totally fine. And are you gonna drop a Hydro Pump? What are you gonna do, kind sir? What are you going to do, kind sir? Hopefully you miss. You might drop a Blizzard. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go for an Ancient... Oh! Oh! That's spicy. Should be able to eat this up, no problem. Thank you very much. And I'll be able to snarl up again next turn. That thing is life worth. This guy is gonna drop here. Um, do I get on my boy? Do I get on my boy Rayquaza and double up in the Silver Alley slot? I think that's the play. Dynamax Rayquaza? Double up in the Silver Alley with a Flare Blitz and a uh, Airstream or Wormwind, whichever one I really wanna go after. We are air locking. Airlock comes out. Uh, yeah, I think I just Flare Blitz over on you. Your Dynamax, you're posing that big threat. And I think I just warm one. We got the speed going. Let's get after this thing. Let's get after it. Come on, Rayquaza. Can you imagine Rayquaza dominating in a mono ice team? <laughs> I can see it happening. This thing's an absolute monster. He's really good. What's called is minus one. They're both minus one. They are both minus one. So I see him eating up uh, pretty much whatever shots they have to offer. Let's get after it. Get this Dynamax buzzing. I wonder what he's gonna do. I, I really do wonder what he's gonna do. I'm seriously surprised he didn't uh, Dynamax the Lapras and he went straight into the Sil Valley. He went for the Dynamax Sil Valley. Sil Valley is Ice type. I guess it's holding like an Ice disc or or plate, whatever, to make it Ice type. But Sil Valley's normally uh, normal. He's normally normal typing, but you can give him whatever and make him whatever typing he wants. Kind of like Arceus. You guys remember Arceus from Gen 4? You can give him whatever plate and it'll change his head typing, which was awesome. It was so cool. It was really dope. But Rayquaza gets Dynamax. We go up to 360 HP. I'm gonna get after this. I'm gonna be able to worm win. Get him. Doing some damage onto him. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That is heaping around of damage. Blair Blitz gonna come out here. Go take it out. Oh, it's a crit. It's a crit, baby! Yes, sir. You know we love those crits around here. You know we love those crits. Give him that attack drop. Floor Blitz should be able to come in here, pick up the easy KO. Get him out of here. No Dynamax left. And Rayquaza should pretty much be able to clean up a lot of this. He's minus one. Hopefully he throws out another special attack. I will just snarl up. Or I can party shot. I can do that as well. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a Hydro Pump. And he missed. Get him out of here. All right, so you missed. I think I'm just going to snarl. I don't think I'm really worried about the Lapras. I might just keep snarling up on that thing. If he throws out another special attacker, then I'm not even going to worry about the Lapras. He's going to throw out... Calyrex. That's who I'm worried about. That is who I'm worried about. He might protect that thing. He might protect it. Do I double up into it? I think I have to pose a threat on that thing. I think I have to double up into that thing. I think I have to double up into Calyrex. That thing's an absolute beast. I have to get after that thing. I don't care if he protects. I have to get after that thing. He does not protect. Yeah, we gotta get everything. We gotta tell him to go home. Flare Blitz should be able to clean that one up. We should be able to outspeed it. Tailwind is, is buzzing for us. Do we get the attack drop? I'm pretty sure he's physical attacking. Yes. Get him out of here. Get that dude out of here. We're not dealing with him. We're not dealing with him. Flare Blitz him. KO him right now, Incineroar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, Rayquaza team is looking really, really strong. It's looking really good. Not to mention, I can still come out of Dynamax and use a Dragon Ascent, and I still have one more turn. Just for a freeze drive. Should be able to eat that up pretty decent. Yep. Down to 132. This thing's orbed. Let's snarl him up. But I still have. Who do I have in the back? Scissor? Yeah, I have Scissor in the back, which is totally fine. He's gonna throw out his final mom, which is gonna be Darmanitan. Darmanitan's gonna come out here. And again, that thing's already minus one. Let's get after that. And you know what? I'm gonna go for a Wormwind over on the right. That be the play. Was Darmantan still posing that threat? Yeah, I'm gonna get. Actually, I'm gonna take out Darmantan. 
He's posing a threat, more so than Lapras. Battle was canceled, let's go, GG. Rayquaza dominates in battle number one, and we start off 1-0. It's crazy that Rayquaza just dominated against a mono ice team. Like, just think about that. Ice is his main weakness, and he had a whole team of it, and Rayquaza just ran right through it. He said, hey, yo, that's no problem for me. I'm the best Pokemon in the game. But second battle coming here, looking to start a win streak. He's got a Trick Room Sakataka team alongside with coaching Rylu and Calyrex again. Okay, looking a little scary, not even gonna lie. It's looking a little scary. I feel like I have to bring Wimsky, set up a Tailwind, or I could Taunt. I can go either way with it. Coaching Rylu, Rylu is scaring me a lot. Like, it really is. I think I might lead... Actually, do I lead? Not Wimscott? No, I need Wimscott for the taunt, just in case. Uh, I think I might lead Incineroar. Yeah, I'm gonna lead Incineroar. I am gonna bring Rayquaza. Gotta. He's a goat. He's a goat. And then, Finny? And top of Finny? Yeah, we're gonna go Finny here. And I'm liking the way Finny's looking. And then let's get after it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay. This team's looking like it's going to be tough to go up against. I, it really does. I don't know if we're going to be able to pick up the W. Hopefully we can. But it's just looking like a really, really strong team. I feel like the Shadow Riders and the Ice Riders of the Calyrex are OP. Kind of just like how Spectre and Glacier were. I feel like both of these guys are OP as well. And they're going to be a huge part of the meta. There are a lot of Legendaries that you can say are going to be a huge part of the meta. Because they're all just so good. But he is going to go Porygon and Incineroar. I'm going to lead my Incineroar as well. And I'm going to probably try to fake out his Incineroar and taunt up on that Porygon. I think that's fine. We do get off a lovely little Intimidate. A lovely little Intimidate. Gonna be rolling like that. Um, I think it's all coming down to who's winning the speed tie. Do I fake out the Porygon just in case? I think Intimidate me again? Yo, what? Yo, Porygon's nasty. I got a party shout out soon. <laughs> I might taunt and fake out that thing. Now I'm gonna fake out the Incineroar. I'll party shot next turn. I'm winning the speed tie. Told you. You get him out of here. Be able to taunt up on the Porygon. Come here. I'm a party shot next turn. Onto Incineroar. I think so. Let's see what he does. Can I trick him? Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Could just drop a Moonblast. With you, I am going to party shot. My parting shot onto you now. My parting shot onto. No, he's not. He doesn't have download, so we're just gonna parting shot over onto the Incineroar slot. I'm gonna be able to drop off a nice little Moon Blast. I'm gonna get out Rayquaza. Try to get Buzz in here. But we do get that lovely little special attack drop for that physical attacker. Parting shot. Yo. And do I get out Rayquaza or do I get out Finny? Do I get out Rayquaza or do I get out Finny? I kind of want Rayquaza out here. If I can Dynamax and really get after this. I'm trying to think, what is his move options? I think he's going to go after Wimscott with a Flare Blitz. So I think we're fine by going into Rayquaza. We'll have Incineroar for the back end. If he parting shots on my Incineroar, that'd be nutty. I'd be kind of sad. I really might be. Don't you dare do it. He's going to Flare Blitz, yeah. He's going to Flare Blitz over on my Wimscott slot. That's fine, we're Sash. And we eat up anyway. And I wonder what Porygon's gonna do, because I'm Dynamax next turn. We get damaged by Rayquaza, and he's just gonna go straight for a try attack over on Wimscott. Nope, Rayquaza slot. We eat up decently well. I'm still gonna Dynamax. I am still going to Dynamax. And I'm not even gonna set up a Tailwind. I'm just going to get out after you. I Airstream for Speed Boost? Do I Worm one? I think we're just gonna Airstream for Speed Boost and try to take out this Incineroar. The Cinnamon is kind of posing a little bit of a threat here. Because he has that Intimidate. And I'd rather get rid of that thing. And Porygon's really not going to do much because he's taunted up. He can't trick him. I think we're fine. I think we're, I th I think we're fine. I think we just take out Incineroar. And we roll from here. Not a bad start. I'm going to withdraw Incineroar, which is fine. I'm going for an Airship. So you might think I'm going for a Dragon move. So let's see what he goes into. He goes into Calyrex. Which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with that. We can drop an airstream on that thing, get a speed boost, and start rolling from there. He is going to swap into Paladin. And I, again, I do not need a Tailwind, but I might Tailwind just for the sheer fact I can uh, 
get my back end Pokemon some speed later in the match. But we have some time. We really do have some time. He's, trying, he's gonna try to keep uh, Trick Room and going from there. But I do have to get it after this Porygon Z when we get the chance. But I am able to get off this lovely little Moon Blast. And this is lovely little Max Airstream. Do get the special attack job. I think that thing's physical anyway. Airstream coming out. Get him. Take him out. Do not pick up the tail. Will a Moon Blast be able to take that out? That's my question. Will Moon Blast be able to take that out? I want it to. I want it to so bad. Try attack coming here. Um, Moon Blast will out You get the para, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get some para? I am still going to taunt up on you. Then do I worm win this? Get some para? What you mean? Hmm. Actually, this is what I'm. I have to taunt that. I have to taunt that thing. He's gonna take me out. He really got the paralyzed here. Crazy, my dude. I'm gonna try to get some more speed here. Ah, that's whack. That is so whack. I'm still gonna taunt up on this thing. I need this thing taunted. it. Can't have him setting up. Hopefully, he goes for another trick room. We do still have speed. That is beautiful. So we are able to take out Calyrex. He is probably gonna come back in with Incineroar. I'm gonna set up a Tailwind next turn. Just for my later folks. Hopefully you go for another Trick Room. I would love that. At least attempt for it. Let's see what happens here. Go for Trick Room. No, he doesn't. He's just gonna go for another Try Attack. And we're gonna be able to eat that up. I think my boy outsped the what's called the Calyrex. Because that could have been a really, really dangerous situation with Calyrex. But he did read my Taunt, which is totally fine. I need that thing taunt. I'm gonna set up a tailwind now. I'm gonna bring back out Incineroar. I'm gonna go for a worm win before I do go out here. And do I get after Porygon? I don't think I really need to get after Porygon. Tailwind. He's gonna fake me out, obviously. Do I do, I do damage to the Porygon slot? I think I do. I think I do. I'm gonna bring out Incineroar after this. Be able to get off another Intimidate. And put that thing down to minus two. Or do I just bring out Finny? Pose that big threat. Are you kidding me? The dang paralyzed, man! The dang paralyzed. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Get out of Incineroar. Let's get out Incineroar so I can uh, fake out the Incineroar and do a Dragon Ascent. Onto the what's called slot. Onto the Porygon 2 slot. The dang paralyzed. So I'm gonna try it. It wasn't even like he used T Wave. It wasn't even like he used Thunder Wave to get the paralyzed. Like he got lucky and then he got another luck there. But yeah, it's always fun when luck's on your side. Like if I had him paralyzed, I'd be pointing at the screen, laughing at him and all that. But nah, now I'm mad. Now I'm not having it. <laughs> uh, he has fake out as well, so I'm gonna go after him again. Actually, no, he already used fake out. Uh, I'm still gonna fake out that Incineroar. He doesn't like drop my attack or something. I'm going for a Dragon Ascent. I'm going for a Dragon Ascent. This is his signature move, which is amazing. He's gonna drop my defense and special defense, but still, it's big damage. Base 120, stab. We got the Life Orb rolling. If we can take out Porygon 2 in one shot. That'd be insane. Fake out coming out from you. Don't you dare be powerless. What you mean? What do you mean? Yo, dude, I hate this game. I hate it. I hate this game so much. I really do. What? Yo, yo, this game is ridiculous. This game is just ridiculous, man. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I can't deal with it anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna double up in this Porygon slot. I'm frozen? And watch, I will not thaw out here. I know that's happening. I know we're not gonna be able to thaw out, which is ridiculous. Dragon Ascent comes out. Thank you. Let's get it. Signature move coming out here. How much damage are we doing? Not too much damage. That thing eats up like crazy. Dude, ready to watch. We're not going to thaw out. Everybody else thaws out. You're going to be able to parting shot. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. The Dragon Ascent does a lot of damage. That thing's just really cool. Before you got to. Watch. I'm not thawing out. I already know it. Are you kidding me? Yo, dude, this second battle's just... Oh, man. 
a mess. It's a mess. That's what it is. Sakatak's coming out. Shiny. He's going to be able to get off Trick Room here. Warrior Blitz. Oh, it melts? It melts that? that? Is that what it just said? That's pretty dope. That it melts that. I'm going to have to party shot. He gets off the Trick Room. Mm. No, Jeans ain't liking that at all. He's not liking that. I'm going to have to uh, party shot on you. I am gonna go for an extreme speed. Let's get off some damage before Rayquaza does go out here. Here comes the Dynamax. Jeez, man, second battle. It's just a mess, <laughs> it's an absolute mess. We still do have Tapu Fini in the back. This is pretty nice, but pretty bad at the same time considering Sakataka is part of Steel type. And he finally gets off that trigger. Pretty much because of a Paralyze. Pretty much. Because we would have had a worm went onto that uh, Oregon slot. And another Dragon Ascent. I'm thinking we would have had the KO. We probably would have won this game if it wasn't for Paralyzing, man. But still, GG. Porygon 2, definitely MVP this match. Definitely MVP. But you know, this was a funny match. I'm actually glad we got this one recording. <laughs> like, he thawed me. He got the Paralyzed and then he got the Freeze. I was like, yo, that's nuts. Gonna be able to take me out with a try attack. That's gonna be GG. That is gonna be GG. Do 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 do. We do have Finny. I could I could attempt to win this one. I could attempt. He's probably policy. I'm not even gonna lie. He probably is policy, but I'm still getting after. It. We're still going. For it. We're still going. For it. He does outspeed. He still has instant order, so he's gonna fake me out one time. No, this match is over. This match is over. He still has fake out. He still has all that good stuff. I'm going to just save Tapu Fini's life here. I'm going to just save it. There's no need for Tapu Fini to die. We can just run this one. Go one and one for right now. Hop to the third and final battle. And try to get that winning record for you guys. Not try. I think we are. I think we are going to get that winning record. Because I really want it. I feel like we can. This seems very, very strong. But we're going to roll up with Rayquaza the next turn. And get ourselves a win in the third battle. You guys already know the deal. Third and final battle, we're sitting at one and one, so we're looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gamer Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Let's get after it. Going up against a Zassian team with double Intimidate Pokemon. That's looking a little rough for my Rayquaza. It really is. He has Defiant uh, Thunderous. He also has Amoongus. He has Lapras. Oh my lord, this is looking real bad for my boy. Real bad for my boy Rayquaza, but I still want to bring him. I'm not backing down. I'm not backing down. Uh, do I set up a Tailwind? Do I get after it like that? He has Fake Out. He has Intimidate. Uh, kind of want to leave Tapu Fini. I might leave my own in some way. Actually, no, I'm not. He has Defiant. But I kind of want to leave Finny. Do I try to take Speed or do I go Meowstic with Screams? Hmm. I don't leave the Finsters. I really do like it. Uh, I think I bring Meowstic. For screens and paralyzes, bring Rayquaza and Sinor in the back end. Yes, and Sinor in the back end. A lot of physical attackers up here. So I am going to bring in him. He does have that Lapras. I don't like it. I don't like this team that we're going up against right now. It's not looking good for me. So hopefully I can pull off this victory. Hopefully I can pull it off with this strong Rayquaza team. That last battle was just a hot mess. You guys already know that. We played pretty well. It was just paralyzed, freezes. It was just like, dude, come on. I think I got to crit that game too. So just the RNG was going nuts. He's going to lead the Incineroar and the Lapras. Okay, Incineroar and Lapras going to come out here. I'm going to lead the Meowstic and Tapu Fini, which I totally uh, which, I, which I like. Uh, I like this turn right here. Uh, okay. What do I go in from here? Do I just drop Money Water? Do I paralyze the Lapras? I paralyze the Lapras turn. He doesn't take me out. Might be the play. I think it could be Rocket Freeze Dry. Okay. I might just protect turn one. Can calm mind. As you see. Yeah, I'm gonna calm mind here. Look what he does. And do I look for a slight screen? I am gonna look for the light screen. I'm gonna go for a light screen. I don't think I don't think I can T-wave with this mist going around. Anyway, yeah, I cannot. I cannot. That's just that's just not happening. So we're gonna we're gonna go after this. He's gonna Dynamax. The, uh, the Lapras. That's fair. And hopefully we can get off this light screen. He might fake me out. But there goes the Lapras. Big old G Max boy. 
if I get off this light screen and this calm mind, start boosting my defense. That'd be that'd be stellar. That'd be stellar. He's gonna go for the resonance. That's obvious. I think he's gonna pick out and try to kill my meow stick. Oh, he does not. Unless that what goes before. My parting shot on me. Let's see what he does. What are you gonna do, kind sir? I'm gonna be able to get off a light screen and the calm mind. And the calm mind. He's definitely parting shotting. He's definitely doing that. Onto my top of finish slot. That's just gonna. We're just gonna get a special defense boost here. Yep, there goes the parting shot. That's totally fine. We're back to even on special attack, but we're plus one on special defense with a light screen pop. With a light screen pop. Alright, see what he does now. Set up a reflect next turn, too. Or I can just get after it with psychics and muddy water. Um, it really depends who he goes into. But if I can slow down these dynamax or waste them out, we can win this game. He's gonna go into Lando. Or not Lando, Thunderous. Pretty smart. And he's gonna go for the resonance over onto my Meowstic slot. Yep. Bill, bill, bill. We eat up. That's tasty snack. Yeah, I can calm mine again, but really no point. Really no point. I think I just gotta get after that uh, that thunderous. Might double up into him. I'm gonna set up a reflect. He's physical attack. Did not have a moon blast though. Kind of stinks. Go for a gleam. He's gonna do more 80, 90. A lower accuracy as well. I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna set up this reflect. Let's get after. Set up my screens. I'm like clay, so I have him for most of the match. Have these bad boys for most of the match. Yo, you. Get that going. Tapu out speed. Does not. Here goes the wild charge. Can we eat? We do. Thank you, Mr. Reflect. I should definitely outspeed that thing. There goes recoil. Is this thing orb too? It is orbed as well. There goes my berry. My wonderful berry. I can protect. I do have protect rock on this thing. So I might protect next turn. Try to take out the thunders with a psychic. Muddy water. Comes out with the water absorb. I know that. But we still get off on this uh, Thunders, which is nice. He's already at full health. But we do get the act drop, too. Ooh! That's spicy. Oh, man. Aw, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You get the act drop, but that happens. Tapu does eat that up, though. Tapu's eating right now. Thank you, Special Defense Boost. And change the terrain for us. Uh, I think I still protect. I'm wasting out these turns. I'm going to protect here. And I am going to go for the second. Just deal as much damage as I can over onto the slot. And he doesn't have Dynamax, so I can go Incineroar and pick it out next turn. If I really want to. He doesn't have a Dynamax turn anymore. Here goes my Protect. Wait. He's gonna... I think he's just gonna Wild Charge into me again. Yep. Block. Block in that. Get him out of here. The Alstic should outspeed. Yeah, I get off a second before it does go out. Nice damage there. It's lovely. Here goes the Max Geyser. Max Geyser is going to take out my Meow Sick. Um, actually, no, it does not. Okay. 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 I'm liking where we're sitting. Here. I'm gleaming here. Oh, dude, we're sitting so pretty. Wait out that Dynamax perfectly. He has a screen up. I'm going to gleam now. And I'm just going to psychic and double into this, uh, into this Defiant slot right here. Because he's plus two. Chilling here, plus two. Wild Charge comes out. Again, we outspeed, so we should be able to take that out and then get out Rayquaza. Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking this. Recoil and Life Form comes out. Psychic should come out here. Say, see you later, boy. Get that thing out of here. We have Dynamax. We have Rayquaza chilling here. Actually, this, uh, this Lapras might take out my Meow Stick, which I actually don't mind. Well, it goes for a Thunder, not a Hydro Pump. I thought it was going to drop, like, a Hydro Pump. And we still eat. So we get off another turn with this thing. Rayquaz is coming out. I'm getting him out here. We Dynamax it, baby. We're winning this game. We're doing it. We're getting this winning record. I won it. And I still have Intimidate coming out here. Oh, so do you. So do you. I don't like one bit. I don't like one bit. So airlocks just comes out, it just says the the effects on the weather disappeared. Oh, it changes the effects? So he doesn't get a boost? Is that what that means? So he doesn't get like a boost from the weather? Airlock eliminates the effects of weather. But I don't think rain comes out here. I don't think you get the, the the damage boost and all that stuff. I have the Dynamax U. I'm gonna get after. I just get after uh, the slappers. They're doing as much damage as they can. 
and just psychic. I'm gonna double up in the Lapras. Oh, dude, that intimidate. It's tough news. It really is tough news. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit because he's probably gonna parting shot into me again. But I, I didn't go after it. Ah, uh, this one's gonna be close. This one's gonna be real close. Come on, jeans. That's the only thing that sings about physical uh, Plaza here. That intimidates eat him up. Big guy comes out. Okay, so you're picking out him. That's totally fine. Maybe we'll get off this one and go minus one onto that Incineroar slot, which is pretty nice. Get some damage on that thing. Hit that attack drop. I don't like you, Lapis. I'm not liking you right now. We do have a screen up. Now six flinches and the Blizzard misses my Rayquaza. No, it hits my Rayquaza. Chill on me. Okay. Oh, their Aurora Veil is gone. Their Aurora Veil is gone. I'm gonna go for this again. I'm going to double up into this slot. Right? I'm doubling up. I need Lapras going here. I mean, I'll stick out speed both, which is nice. There's my Worm Wind. I'm gonna get another attack drop onto that Incineroar. Nope. Is that KO? It does. Okay, so straight up just KOs, I think. I couldn't do anything up against this Incineroar. I can't paralyze it because we have that terrain out here. But okay, I think I know what Airlock does now. I totally read it wrong then. Or just misinterpreted it. Does not affect him. He's gonna parting shot on me. I'm minus two now. I'm minus two. Okay. Do I swap my Rayquaza out? That's a real good question. He's gonna send out. He's gonna be able to get out instant war again. He's gonna bring out Zassin. Ooh. Ooh. That's no fair. That's no bueno. I gotta figure out my Meow Stick. I think I might just swap my, uh. I'm gonna swap my Rayquaza out here. Hmm. I'm gonna swap my Rayquaza out here. It's gotta be the play. I have to swap him. Nah, he takes me out. I'm gonna swap, get that attack drop down, and I am going to send a Thunder Wave over on you. The Thunder Wave come out before the fake out. It might. It might. Let's see. I always get confused with that. Then we're coming back. Get this double attack drop here. I have a fake out now on board. Give me this teammate. Give it to me. Give me it, baby. I got a fake out next turn anyway. It's huge. And Fake Out's gonna come out here, take him on Meow Sick, eat Meow Sick. Oh, Meow Sick eats. That's really good. Behemoth Blade's gonna come out here. Are you doubling up in the Meow Sick? I don't think he is. Not a chance. Goes into the Incineroar. And we eat that up all day. Beautiful. I'm gonna paralyze up on that, uh, that Zacian. And I'm gonna just fake out the, what's it called? Incineroar. Or do I paralyze Incineroar? What are Blitz on this end? No, I'm going to paralyze Dassian. Dassian's too good. He's too good. Zerik Quaz should be able to come out here and do some work. But I still have him in the back. So that was a good swap by me. So solid third and final battle. Solid third and final battle so far. This one's going to come down to the wire. Got my golden meow stick. Looking to give us the victory. They got... Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, we got a crit too. Yes, sir. Love to see it. T-Wave coming out here. Paralyze the boy. Give it to him. Finally, we're able to use this Paralyze. I've been waiting for it all day. Tell me he's Paralyzed this turn. Let's go. Making up for the last battle. Making up for the last battle. Now I'm Paralyzing over onto you. Now I'm going to I'm gonna Flare Blitz over onto you. And now I'm Paralyzing out of Cinnabar. Who wants to pester my Rayquaza? All dang game. Now I'm Paralyzing you. Want to play games with me? You don't leave my Meow Stick hanging around like that. He's going to come to bite you. Well, let's go. This is looking even better now. Looking even better. They got this Flare Blitz rolling here. Thunder Wave coming out here. Oh, it doesn't even affect him. What a... Ah, oh, Jeans, man. You were doing so good. You were doing so good. Yo, it's not a Jeans video. Unless I mess up at least once like that. You guys know that. You guys know that. It's not a Jeans video unless I make one stupid play. <laughs> Flare Blitz coming out here. Wheel. 
Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yo, dude, that's GG's. That's GG's. GG's. Is this guy gonna quit? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do something fun here. I'm gonna swap you for you. And I'm going to set my reflect back up. <laughs> Don't cancel the battle. Oh, he canceled. I want to get out my Rayquaza for the final hit. But, yo, GG, winning record, baby. Awesome set of battles for you guys today. We went 2-1, got that winning record with this Rayquaza team. Hopefully, you guys are using them. If you guys do not have a team for them, you guys already know the deal. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Try this one out. It works pretty well. It's pretty strong on the rank ladder. But, guys, make sure you guys stay tuned for my next videos. We got a Polkia Dialga video coming out. We also have a Lugia team coming soon. And I am still looking for a Garatina and Ho-Oh team. If any of you guys are interested, you guys know the deal for that as well. Link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube on Instagram. Go DM me your teams over there but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously guys thank you so much for the support that's been going out across the channel you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody